Hi and welcome to this short video on why statistics is important. The story that I'm about to tell you is a story of life and death. The place? Vienna, Austria, General Hospital. The time? 1846. Something terrible is happening. Between 1841 and 1846, over 2,000 young mothers died shortly after giving birth at the Vienna General Hospital. Why was this happening? Nobody knew why it was happening. The woman would contract a fever shortly after giving birth in the hospital and then die. And uh, as a matter of fact, they were dumbfounded and started to come up with all kinds of reasons as to why this might be happening. Here's a few of the things they thought might have been the cause. By the way, most of these uh, actually blame the women for the problem. <laughs> solutions based on these uh, quote-unquote sources of the problems such as sitting up too quick after de uh, delivering a baby wearing tight clothes they probably had all the women wear loose clothes probably not a bad idea really at least they were more comfortable probably uh, but this is a example of false cause you're thinking that you know what caused something and so you base a solution on it can you think of any of those in your life or in our society? There are many. All you have to do is look. Now as luck would have it, the hospital hired a new director of maternity. His name was Dr. Ignaz Simmelweis. And Dr. Simmelweis was a numbers man. He collected numbers and looked at data, even way back then. Some of the things he found were very, very interesting. Let's take a look at some of the data that he collected because he was very concerned about this problem. Now that's pretty interesting that if you didn't go to the hospital, your death rate was less than 1%. I'd have been afraid to go to the hospital. Now the data seems very peculiar. Why would midwife's uh, success be much better than trained doctor's success? Obviously the doctors know what they're doing. They're, you know, they've studied for a long time, have experience, and so why, how could they have such a terrible track record? The mystery continued. Well, it turns out that Vienna Hospital was also a teaching hospital. And they had a laboratory in the bottom of the hospital where doctors would learn uh, about anatomy by uh, studying dead bodies and they would cut them of course and uh, one day one of the students accidentally after been working on one of the cadavers had cut one of the teaching professors. Well that teaching professor died. So they started putting two and two together and realizing that the blood it was coming up from the uh, laboratory into the uh, maternity ward and uh, the longer women had been in labor the more chances they had of being prodded and touched by these infected fingers so what did they do so dr semmelweis had all the students and teachers that were down in the lab disinfect their hands before going back up to working on women in the maternity ward and this solved the problem. The deaths went down to close to zero for this particular reason, and uh, the problem was solved. So as you can see in this case, the data didn't exactly give us a solution, but it led us away from the bad solutions. Not that wearing looser clothes isn't a good idea, or that opening the window to get some fresh air, good ideas. They didn't solve the fever problem. We needed good hard data to solve those problems. Luckily we had Dr. Semmelweis who was a numbers man. And we had a happy ending. 
Uh, I'd like to thank the authors of Super Freakonomics for reminding me of this story.